Now then, hello again. I'm actually filming this intro, post hunt, at my house because the weather on this hunt was absolutely awful. It was freezing cold, blowing a gale, drizzling. It was everything you don't want from a hunt. Now this hunt was actually out right in the middle of nowhere. The road pretty much ran out. It's moorland, bog, the houses that are still standing haven't been there for that long and to be honest I wasn't expecting much. I was hoping to find one or two coins but I wasn't sure. Now I was up for quite a long time, this is probably about a six hour hunt which is a marathon one for me but my daughter was helping one of my relatives on his farm with the lamin. So I thought if she's up there helping on the farm it's a long way for me to come home and back again. I might as well go to Tecton. So the guy was good enough to let me go to Tecton and this is what I found. This may well be the first coin of the day, hopefully. Give quite a high reading. I was actually expecting this to be a large penny or something. Uh, definitely looks like a coin. Not sure what though, I'll just give it a quick clean up and we'll have a look. Well I'm pretty pleased with that as a first coin in the middle of nowhere. It's a George the Fourth Farthen. You just see the king looking to the left there. I haven't cleaned it too much because I think it's got a bit of detail on that. I don't want to spoil this one. And there's Britannia on the back. I think it's going to be a pretty nice coin this. I'm pleased. Very good indeed. Here we had a crack in 12.43 on the e-track. Lovely imprint here from what I hope is a coin. Oh, it's broken up unfortunately. But uh, in here, I'm presuming there's a coin. Hey! That looks like a coin to me. Very knackered, but I would say, ooh, certainly Georgian half penny. Looks like we're gonna get a bonus because there's something else in here. In the same hole. No wonder it gave a good signal. Yeah, looks like another Georgian half penny. Get in there. Hopefully, this is another one. Yeah! Very strange colour. I think it's because the ground's so wet. Uh, <laughs> I'm fairly sure that's a George the second half penny. And it looks like it's got quite a lot of detail on as well. I can just see the back of his head here. I suppose anybody watching a shooting or a gun guide video is most likely gripped by bloodlust fever so they want to see how quickly it fires so I'll show you reasonably fast another one from quite deep uh, another farthen and that one looks like a Queen Victoria. Queen Victoria Farthen. Yeah! Looks like another Farthen. It's actually a modern Farthen, that one. It's got the wren on. The little bird facing to the left there. That's in terrible condition. Well, hey, it's been ages since I found one of them. That's a spur. 
goes on the back of your boot. You have a little spiky wheel thing here for you to stab into the side of horses to make them run faster. This one gave a cracking signal, reading 1240. It looks like a two pence. That's no, not a two pence. I thought it was a modern two pence. Yeah, it's a dog tag. A Lottie NE439 PP. It's even got the phone number and a mobile on as well, but I think that dog that lost this will be long gone. Now this was a tricky little bugger, but I think I see silver in here. Yes. Love talking. Beautiful. Oh, hell. Oh, I can actually read what's on it as well. Oh, well, you bugger. Queen Anne love token. Made out of a sixpence. Silver sixpence. Absolutely hellish. Get in there. And that'll be early 1700s. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Now that's a Queen Anne love token made out of a sixpence from the early 1700s. Made of silver and it was bent into that distinctive S shape to be given as a token of affection. So some dude would take a coin, most commonly a sixpence, a silver sixpence, from his pocket. He would bend it somehow into a rough S shape and that would be like a, something to break the ice. It would be a token of his affection towards the woman, well, or man, <laughs> that he had feelings for. So he would give it to her, or him, and that would be something to break the ice. We do find quite a lot of them in the field, so I don't know whether that has come from when the man and woman, or the couple, have been out and they've been lying down next to the stream, next to the river, they've been lying on the bankside out for a walk, or whether you find quite a lot of them in the fields because the dude gives it to the person who he has feelings for, he or she just throws them away. Well, that one was reading 1225, which is nowhere near where I would expect a half penny to hit. Just managed to get a date off that, 1886, so that's a Queen Victoria one. Very flat, but it's got a lovely patina. Looks like we've got a bit of a coin ball situation happening here. This was reading 1038. It doesn't really look like a coin, possibly a button. Nope, maybe it's a coin. Very flat and worn totally thin. This one was reading 1146. Uh, it looks like a big Georgian copper. Yes. Yeah, it's George the third penny. You can just make his bust out there. It's not in particularly good condition, as normal. This was an absolutely screaming signal. It's got a lot of corrosion around it and must have created a massive halo. Give a cracking signal, this one. This is a penny of some sort, I'm not sure whose it is though. Ah, now I can't see the bust very well, but it says Victoria up the side of there. So, it's a Queen Victoria. Penny. So that hunt wasn't fantastic, but a little bit of silver always saves the day. And that was a nice little bit of silver. I will actually be giving that away in an upcoming giveaway video. I'm going to have possibly two or more likely three giveaway videos coming up very soon to celebrate 50,000 subscribers and 15 million views. Now that subscriber and view goal are due to hit about the same time which is in about two, two and a half months, possibly three months, I'm not sure. But just before that hits, there's going to be three giveaway videos. First one will be for detecting and there's a box of all sorts of great stuff to give away as well as some coins and quite a lot of silver as well. I've been I've been collecting silver specifically to give away to people who enjoy the videos so watch out for that. Second one will be for 
general outdoorsy stuff, hunting and fishing and so on. So there'll be quite a lot of bushcraft stuff in there. Uh, there's some interesting things in there. And the third one will be for people who enjoy the aquatic videos. My channel's kind of moving away from that, but 90% of my views come from my aquatic videos. If I was really wanting to develop the channel, that's the direction I would head in, but I just love making the outdoor videos. I don't really care how many views or subscribers or whatever I get. I just love making the videos. So detecting outdoorsy stuff and aquatics. There's some great stuff in the aquatics giveaway because when I closed my shop, I had to buy all the stock from myself. So I've already got a lot of those prizes. So look out for those giveaway videos. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks very much if you click like or share or whatever. I'm not on Facebook, Twitter or any of that nonsense. I'm not a fan of that. So if you want to go on there and post the video, be my guest. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Come on, there's somebody watching this who would love to meet you. Come on. How are you then? Come on then, how are you? Come on, say hello to Pete. Hello, Pete. Now then. <laughs> he nearly fell in the pond. <laughs>